Did you ever hear something that makes no sense? The kind of thing that makes you do a double take, bruh, leaves you speechless? Well, I share your pain, and I have some words for you to use. This is Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. What the Foxtrot is going on? Recently, the Tea Party got a new leader, Kelly Carinder. She said she's not the leader, but that's how influential people in the Tea Party see her. I didn't know anything about Kelly Carinder, so I Googled her, and I found this article in the online magazine American Thinker. Kelly Carinder thinks deliberative democracy is dead, and the Democrats killed it. What? I mean, whiskey tango foxtrot! Let me see if I can understand Kelly Carinder's point here. After a long summer of Tea Party members showing up at town hall meetings, the place where deliberative democracy is supposed to take place, a long summer where the Tea Party shouted down speakers, drew Hitler mustaches on politicians with whom they disagree, they waved their guns around to get the crowd worked up, and they burned effigies of Democrats. After all that, Kelly Carinder says that all the blame for the alleged death of deliberative democracy should fall on Democrats and the left? Wow. Well, anyway, I read Kelly Carinder's article. She claims that the left always says conservatives are brainwashed in an attempt to discredit the conservatives. It's kind of like when people call Rush Limbaugh's followers ditto heads because they will agree with any and everything that Rush says. Except that it wasn't Democrats who started calling them ditto heads or brainwashed. It was Rush Limbaugh's followers who came up with that nickname and they think it's kind of cool or maybe Rush thinks it's kind of cool, but what's the difference? Anyway, Kelly Carinder tries to score some points on the health care debate in this article. She says at one point that supporters of the Health Care Reform Act like to claim that UK citizens get free health care in many other countries outside of the UK. She says that that claim is wrong and that makes it a red herring. Well, a little Googling will show you that there's not a single instance of any congressional Democrats or White House officials making that claim. Now, that shows that this isn't a red herring. They don't even mention it anywhere. What we don't have here is a red herring. We have a straw man by Kelly Carinder. Okay, well, anyway. She says that what Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama really want is single-payer insurance, not the health care they passed. Kelly Carinder says that they were honest. That's what they would say. Actually, a little fact check here. Neither Pelosi nor Obama has ever been a single-payer supporter. There are actually lots of single-payer supporters. I'm a single-payer supporter. We don't hide that fact. In fact, there's a website you can see on the screen now to, where people talk about how much they want single-payer health care. Now, I guess Kelly Carinder can just make up stuff about what police, Pel Pelosi and Obama are advocating. I mean, it's a free country after all. And Kelly Carinder's career is as a comedy improv performer. Apparently, she's quite good at improv. I kind of think maybe that's how she and the Tea Party came up with their platform. They did it like it was an improv show. Okay, okay, uh, okay, uh, I need something that scares people. Uh, communism, oh, okay, uh, 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 socialism, oh yeah, okay, uh, fascism, yeah, okay. Okay, um, all right, let's go with communism. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Okay, the scene is that you are the president and you're really a communist. Action. I don't know, maybe that's how they do it. I don't really know. Anyway, what does Kelly Carinder, the Tea Party leader, think we should do about Medicare? She says that it either should be all charity or just a state program. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, take California, for example. Right now, the California government is just sitting around with piles of cash looking for something to spend it on. I mean, why not eliminate federal Medicare and have it all be on states? Or just make it charity like Carrie Car Carinder and the Tea Party leaders want? I wonder if all those people who show up at the Tea Party rallies realize that their leaders want to abolish Medicare. Could it be that Kelly Carinder is not being honest with them? Hey, Kelly, here's a challenge for you. The next few times you address a Tea Party rally, start off by demanding that we abolish Medicare immediately. Or maybe that's not your cup of tea. Well, anyway, 
So Kelly Carinder is not happy with our present state of politics. She does offer hope at the end of her article. She wants it to be like the Founding Fathers who deliberated at the Constitutional Convention in 1787. So that's what this whole thing has been about. Okay, Kelly Carinder, given that you write articles for the magazine American Thinker, you must recall how the Constitutional Convention deliberated. Total secrecy. No one was allowed to take notes out of the room. They actually kept the window shut tight, and they sweated in their wool suits and their powdered wigs in a blistering Philadelphia summer just to avoid being overheard. Actually, there was a fight one day when a delegate left a copy of the draft constitution on the floor overnight. Now, unfortunately, we didn't have Fox News around to solve the mystery of who left the paper on the floor. Of course, if we had had 24-7 cable news back then, they would have taken a disagreement about a breach of security, a piece of paper. They would have made it into a full-blown scandal. The Civil War might well have started in 1787, not 1861. So it turns out that the Tea Party wanted Congress to deliberate health care in total secrecy. Who knew? And all those Tea, pa tea Party town hall protests, they weren't protesting health care reform. They were protesting the town hall meeting itself. So now we know the Tea Party wants Congress to close the door and deliberate in powdered wigs with no public input. Hmm. Well, anyway. I shouldn't be so hard on Kelly Carinder. After all, she writes for a magazine that has advertisers and sponsors. I mean, <laughs> that must count for something. This show, my show, for example, we have no sponsors, so you know we must not be worth watching. But let's see, what was the name of that ad? What was that ad in the Kelly Carinder article? Can we see that again? Wow. Kelly Carinder, the Tea Party, an American thinker magazine, brought to you by the people who sell dirt. We have got to get some of that advertising action.